we've just arrived in Tasmania. Still working on my Australian accent. It sounds a bit more New Zealand, but um, it is so beautiful already. I'm so excited to be here. We're currently in Launceston, which is in the north of Tasmania, and then we'll head to the east and the south of the island. So I can't wait to show you everything. Our first stop is the Cataract George Gorge. Gorge. George. I think it's Gorge. And uh, we are on a little uh, trolley in the air. What are these called? Chairlift. Chairlift. We're on a chairlift. So I'll just uh, show you around. Tasmania instead of going to Sydney or Melbourne or the Gold Coast which are sort of more touristy destinations in Australia is that we um, are a little tired of city life living in New York City and we just wanted something that was the complete opposite. We wanted outdoorsy stuff, we wanted peaceful, calm nature and so Tasmania is perfect for that. It's called Bonarang Wildlife Sanctuary and we're about to go do a tour to see some wombats which are really cute, furry, fluffy, chubby animals uh, as well as some Tasmanian devils and some other local uh, species to Tasmania. I'm really excited because I love animals, that's why I'm vegan, um, so I'm really excited to be here.
Hobart in a hotel room. Hobart is the capital of Tasmania. It's um, a biggish city. And after several days of doing lots of outdoorsy things in rural wilderness areas and wearing sweatpants, I am now in a city and I can sort of put on lipstick and dress up and go out to a nice dinner. So I'm excited to explore Hobart. It's supposed to be really vegan friendly, so I'm really excited. I'm just having some vegan chocolate cake at Mona, which is the Museum of Old and New Art outside of Hobart in Tasmania. One of the coolest museums I've ever been to. It's really interactive. Instead of having signs to tell you what that art exhibit is about, you have headphones and you can listen to stuff about the piece. You can read about it. So you just learn so much more than you do at traditional museums. So if you're ever in Tasmania, I recommend going to the Mona. of Veg Bar, which is supposed to be one of Hobart's really good vegetarian and vegan spots. They got some really innovative burgers and bowls, so I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you what I'm going to eat. Tasmania, which is one of my favorite places in the world. The wine is delicious, the cool climate here is perfect for growing grapes, and it's just the beginning of fall here in Australia, so the leaves are starting to change color, and it's just gorgeous here. Mm -hmm. 